Oh, hey folks, I'm WWE Hall of Famer Hacksaw Jim Duggan, and I'd like to listen to The Roman Show, tough guy. Ho! Healthy my whole life. I went in and I was visiting with a doctor who I knew very well. I, I was passing blood, but for a wrestler, that's not unheard of. I mean, it's a very physical business. And, uh, you know, he came and he said, uh, Jim, it, it's cancer. So it was a, a devastating time for me and my family. But uh, with the grace of God and early detection, uh, saved my life. I lost a kidney. I had kidney cancer. I lost a kidney, but uh, like I said, with the early detection, I didn't have to go through chemotherapy or radiation treatment. And I was back, not only, not only did I survive, because that was my main concern. I didn't want my daughters to grow up without a dad. I didn't care about coming back to wrestling at all. You know, but not only did I survive it, but I was able to come back to the profession I love. And, and tell me, what can people expect and what, what can they learn from you? Well, hopefully they learn how to have a good time. You know, I, I try to share a lot of funny stories, uh, you know, things that happen to me that are funny or sometimes I'm not real proud of, but that's part of life. But also, I think persistence. You know, I never was one of the office guys. I'd never been to Vince's house. You know, oh, I'm not one of the guys that are in the clique with the finger kisses and all that stuff. I, I just do my job and I never had no real huge push from the company. You know, I never was world champion. I was never tag team champion, never intercontinental champion, you know, but I was kind of like the people's champion. They couldn't, you know, they beat me every night. I'd get up, I'd look around the whole place and be going, ho, oh, and I'd be going, USA, and the place would be rocking, you know. If, I think the folks see it comes from my heart. Of course, now the Royal Rumble is one of the marquee events for the WWE. And of course, this year I was privileged to go back and wrestle in the 25th uh, anniversary. Uh, and I did pretty well, man. I actually, I shined for a while. I was beating up Cody Rhodes and Ted DiBiase Jr., all my peers' kids. I was beating the devil out of them, you know. But uh, it, it went well. And of course, I'd never realized back 25 years ago what a huge event it had, would become. Oh, Macho, we battled. He actually, Macho beat me for the king of wrestling. Of course, it's funny you mention that because I had Harley Race's crown, which was like a butchel basket. It would sit on my head like this. The cape was all ripped and torn. It's been around forever. Macho beats me. He gets a new nice crown, a new nice cape. You know, Macho was Macho. And tell me about being a WWE Hall of Fame and a WWE legend. Well, that's great. You know, I was, like I said, I was not really an office guy. And, of course, like in any profession, there's a lot of politics in professional wrestling. So for when I get the call and say, hey, uh, we're going to put you in the Hall of Fame, again, like I did with the book, uh, it's Duggan. <laughs> and like, yeah, we're going to put you in. So uh, it, it was a great thrill. My family was able to come down. Uh, my wife changed my life. I used to be a real wild, crazy guy. You know, like I grew up straight, and then I went to the far deep end of the pool, and my wife kind of pulled me back. So uh, it's, it's, it's been a good run. Asking, what did you think about WrestleMania last night? Oh, WrestleMania was great. What an event, you know. I mean, not just the matches, but of course the matches with uh, John Cena and The Rock, Undertaker, and uh, Triple H with Shawn Michaels as a special referee. Great matches, but just the pageantry of the WWE coming here in Miami. I mean, almost 80,000 people at the arena, a whole week long of Fan Fest, uh, Hall of Fame ceremony at the American Airlines Arena, which was sold out. You know, the NFL, they get 7,000 people on a lawn for free. We had 15,000 paid to come see our Hall of Fame. Wrestling fans are great wrestling fans. And, of course, tonight, Monday Night Raw. Great weekend of, uh, great week of WWE.